And I'm just gonna plop one of these. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, our health. Cindy, this is a skeleton. This is bones. Hey, buddy. Speaking of water, look at that. The icebergs, they're melting. Oh, and people say global warming isn't real. SMH. Huh. There is uh, magnetic charismatic. Hello, angry shoelace. You, ah, uh, don't. Go away from me. One second, lads. I'm being chased by old people. Oh, that's so... Ah! Non-consensual backshots. <laughs> the hell are you looking at? Bah! That's an impressive looking cave. Damn, boy. Mother nature is gaped. Damn. Not Meg. You're up. <laughs> Stay. Okay. <laughs> Grill it. Grill the chicken titty. Whoa. Look at that. Oi, let me get a look at you. Oh, you look so cool. Oh my god, there's a gibble. If I can get this on the first try, it's going to save me such a hassle. Come on. Damn it. Right, try again. Hey guys, Sabadaya here. Just a quick thank you for all the support on the first video. Honestly, didn't expect that. So I'm happy to see all of you enjoyed it. Also, a quick thank you to Jackie for buying me a coffee. Slay sis, your donation is what keeps my cat fed. And while we are on that topic, for those of you who have not yet seen the community post, as of a few days ago, my buy me a coffee page is permanently closed down. I wanted to have everything in one place instead of spread across third party websites. So if you would like to show me support via donating, you can use the super thanks button underneath the video. Or as shown in this community post, you are now also able to become a channel member. I didn't want to make it too expensive, so I've only made one tier at $2.99 a month. Becoming a channel member will earn you this nice little badge which upgrades over time, as well as other benefits which you can read if you pause the screen now, or click the link leading to the community post in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Remember to like if you do, subscribe for more, and comment down your favorite part of the video. Now, without any more chitter chatter, let's continue on our Cobblemon adventure. So we've managed to get our first badge, the bug badge. Did you just touch grass? I'm thinking I want to be able to display them in some form of way. I mean, they're a big achievement and it's only going to get harder as we progress. So, since this is our nice little battle stadium, I think over here I'm going to build like a nice little, uh, nice little kind of display for all of our gym badges. And we still have half a day left, so let's get started with that. I just need to find where I put the wood. I don't have wood. I need to go chop it down. Fingers crossed these things won't fall and despawn like last time because I forgot about them. <laughs> Whoopsies. And that's all of the wood gathered, and I can already see some saplings. Let's grab them before they go away. I need as many as I can get. And while the rest of them are dropping, let's start with planning this out. I do want to get rid of this hill at some point as well, because I do need the dirt. So I'm going to quickly just shrink this, and we're going to do a little bit of terraforming. Oh wow, look at that. I always forget how pretty Minecraft can be. It's such a shame that Mojang isn't really developing proper shaders like this, but into the Bedrock version so that it can be on console. Can you imagine if they did that? Can you imagine if they actually developed shaders, proper shaders like this, into the Bedrock edition on consoles? Brother, Minecraft would have a mass resurgence of players. I think they're really missing out. That also reminds me because I'm looking at this right now. I've seen the Distant Horizons mod go around. I've seen some clips of that. Oh my god, that stuff is majestic. Hopefully they'll get it working properly, because I have actually tried it. I've messed about with it. And at the moment, it's it's definitely impressive, but it's not at a... Uh, the mod is still actively being worked on and is nowhere close to being done just yet. But so far, what they've achieved with that is... It's insane. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, look up Distant Horizons Minecraft on YouTube. It is beyond impressive. Do I have any more dirt in my chest? There we go. 
Okay, I think this will do for now in, in terms of the terraforming. And it is beginning to be night. I think I'm going to spend my first night outside because I want to work on this for a bit. So now let's do a little bit of planning. Just going to place some more torches down. I don't want stuff spawning around me. Oh, look at that little hop. Do it again. Jump. I said jump. Aww. That is adorable. Okay, I think this is good. Just gonna use the rest of the dirt to cover up as much of this as I can. Okay, this'll do. Now I just gotta put some more torches down before the night owls start waking up. <laughs> you know who you are. Nice. Right. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have forgotten once again. Quick, before they despawn, there's a single sapling. Ooh. Ah! Oh, good God, no! Ow! Well, at least we got like two of them and a and a bone. I can't believe I forgot again. Let's plant them. Just gonna move this dirt out of the way as well, and I'm just gonna plop one of these. Oh, okay. Uh oh, our health. That's bad. Cindy, this is a skeleton, this is bones. Still terrified though. Let me just wait for it to do its attack. And eat. Quick tactical calorie consumption. I am gonna die. Oh, this always happens. And a spider. Sick, bro. What a start. I was spent I was gonna spend this night in a nice productive way. But it seems like uh it seems like Minecraft had different plans for me. Iron Golem, protect me. Hey, buddy. Hmm. How do I do this? Just gonna s stay close to this one. He knows what he's doing. Right. Maybe I should be able... I'm gonna slowly make my way back. I'm gonna put some torches. No, I hear you. You're not doing this to me. Okay, I think we're safe for now. And we got our wood. We got the trees planted. Let's just continue building. Hopefully that one won't uh, won't mess about with us too much. And I need to make a new shovel. Quick, bring forth the spoon. So we got the wood. I need some iron. Aha! And I am also going to need some stone and some glass. Now, if I remember correctly, if I do this, like that, like that, like that, and... Huh, maybe not. Maybe... Aha! Oh, I am so smart. And while I'm here, I want to make some signs as well. Oh, that's not a sign. Whoopsies. There we go. That's more like it. And if we just put that there, put that there, we can call it the bug badge. Day 10. And boom. Oh, wait, it's missing something. And boom. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Although it would be better if it had a light source. Eh, I can't place it on top of it. Um, Yeah, that'll have to do for now. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Look at it. We got our first badge. We got it in a nice display case. It's about to be morning, so let's go ahead and prepare for the day. Just gonna put a few of these bits away. I'm actually gonna keep the cobble. I never know when I might need it. Put the stone here. Iron there. This we will need. Dirt can go... I, I don't know. Let's just put it here for now. And the signs. Yes, we will need the sign. Now, what is on our advent? What What is... What are we doing? <clears throat> what are we doing today? Well, if I open up my backpack and take out the Pokopedia, I want to start training uh, Nutmeg. And I want to start training Kozzle because they need to get stronger. These gym badges are not going to be won by simply playing rock, paper, scissors with the Pokemon typings. We are going to need to train these two to their core. And in order to do that, we are going to need these power items. So what I would like to spend this first day doing is I want to go ahead and I want to craft all of these. But of course, in order to craft them, we need a few bits. And one of them is a lot of gravel and a lot of sand. So, Kozzle... Nutmeg, Pokepedia, we are going on a collection journey. The first thing we need to find is sand, which, easy enough. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to really collect it from anywhere close to me, just so it doesn't look silly. So I'm gonna go into this village here, I'm gonna strip some of those there. I think that's a 
sand and gravel combination. And since these are finished growing, I'm going to harvest these because I'm going to need a few more Pokeballs soon. And we got a seed as well. That's good. Ooh, we got two seeds. There should be a few more. Yeah, there they are. A few more over here. And now we can plant these like so. And we're going to turn you into some Pokeballs later. Oh, look at it. It's a little quirky. Yumper. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this little tail wag. I'm going to die on the hill that Cobblemon has much better textures and looks than Pixelmon. Although, one model which I absolutely cannot stand is the Crobat model. If you know, you know. That thing looks horrid, and I hope that it's going to be one of the first models that gets uh, updated as soon as possible. Because, bro, that, that ain't it. That really ain't it. Let's just collect all of these. I don't want them disappearing on me. I'd say we've got almost enough uh, sand. I want to get a stack of sand and then we'll just need to get a bit more gravel. Is that all of it? No, nope, almost. Ooh, we got one extra. Let's just uh, put that one back. Now we just need to get a little bit more gravel. I'm not very happy with not having a stack, so let's have a look around. Let's see if we can spot some. We should probably stay near the water. That's where it's gonna spawn, most likely. Speaking of water, look at that. Damn, bro, the icebergs, they're melting. Oh, and people say global warming isn't real, SMH. Are you not looking at the evidence? Oh, my shovel broke. My spoon, it bent. But I only need two more. Come on, one more. And that's a stack of gravel. Right, let's head back. And I'm actually going to need a few of these. So if I grab them, and you will see why soon enough. I'm just having a look to see if I can spot any purple ones. But I don't think I can. Uh, I suppose we'll have to go on a hunt for those. Huh. Just have a bit of... Hi. And two Growlithes. Sick, bro. They're so cute. You know what? Maybe I should have just abandoned Nutmeg. Maybe I should just throw him away. And we can have a... I can just catch a bunch of dog Pokemon. We can have a full pupper team. Now, there's an idea. Just put the flint away in the chest where you belong. And we can also go ahead and turn these into some more Pokeballs. Like so. Put those in our bag for when we need them. Right, so we have this, we have that. Now, we are going to need the usage of our Pokepedia because we need some specific colors. Light blue concrete. So need the, we need the color light blue to begin with. So we got blue and lucky for us, we've got some bone. So if we just go ahead and take the bone meal, turn it into white dye, then combine the white dye into light blue dye. There we go. And for the bone meal, we can just go ahead and use it on this little fella. Next one is going to be an easy one. Yellow. Yeah, there it is. Yellow dye. After that, we have orange. So we're going to need a yellow and a red flower. Now, that shouldn't be too difficult, considering we're literally in a uh, next to a forest in plains full of flowers. Look at that. Yellow, red. So if we just combine these, not the flowers, the dyes, and we've got orange. Right, what do we have after this one? Red. Now, this is another easy one. Simply get the red flower, do it like that, and boom. Now, these two are going to be the funny ones. There is uh, Magnetic, Charismatic, and then we also have Lime, which is a combination of green and white. So in order to get the green color, we're going to need to go all the way down to this desert. I'm not actually sure if there is any other ways of getting... Well, that was weird. I'm not actually sure if there's any other ways of getting the green color. So if there is and I don't know it, then feel free to leave it in the comments below to make my life easier next time. But because I don't want to be traveling in the middle of the night, we're going to spend the night crafting the ones that we already have available. So the first thing we're going to need is concrete, which I believe you're going to be able to craft like this. Aha! Got ya! Then we need a yellow, then orange, and then red. Now I'm going to throw the spares away because I don't really need the spares. Just eat them over here. So next, we're going to need to go ahead and get some diamonds and green mints for this one. Since all of these are grown, I might as well harvest all of these and use them as I need to. And I do want a full line of all of them, so I'm going to have to get some more as I find them. This one's not grown yet, so I'll leave that one as is. 
got some purples. And then the light blue. Oh, we got an extra one from that. Okay, so you can actually multiply them. It just seems to be really rare. Oh, good to know. And we got the dark blue. So, let's go ahead and get some diamonds. Just put this away as well. Might as well store them if I ever need them later. So, we'll need eight diamonds. And we're also going to need to transform these into actual concrete because they're concrete powder at the moment. Oh, we'll need a new, uh, new pickaxe. I cast fireball. I cast lightning. Well, I'm going to cast new crafted crumb patch. And now we can continue mining. That's the yellows done. Now on to orange. And finally, the red. There. All done. So now we go off to the crafting table. Get that. Get the green. Not all 12 of them. I don't have that many to waste. And then blue. And boom. Power anklet. Right. So we got the first one. Now what is the recipe for the band? Some pink. Some pink leaves. So just... Plop them on there, get the diamonds, get the power band. Now for the orange, we need some blue. Okay, so let's put, let's put the blue there, get the orange concrete, and once again some diamonds. Boom, power belt! And lastly, for the red one, we need some red leaves. Who would have guessed? Four of those, two of those, and diamonds. Boom, so we got almost all of them. Let's put the leftover ingredients in here, just so we don't lose them. And for now, I'm going to put these in here as well. As for the concrete, I'm just going to store it here for now. The sand and the gravel can go over there. And the Pokepedia is going back into my bag. Now, it's almost daytime, so to avoid spawning phantoms, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sleep. <sighs> me, 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 me. There we go. Let's grab the bed. Actually, I don't really know why I'm carrying the bed. I'm not going to sleep anywhere else. And let's just go ahead and begin our journey. So, what we need to... Am I going in the right direction? No, I'm not. I need to go down that way, I think. Yes, I do. Let's begin our journey. So, we need to keep an eye out for any extra mints because I want to have a full row of five and we're missing a few. I don't know which ones, but we are missing a few. And then we also, on our journey there, need to keep an eye out for the purple and any form of purple flower. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Just gonna go around you casually. Oh, speaking of mint, look at that. Got some white ones. Fingers crossed we'll find more, but I guess only time will tell. Oh, hello, fire horse. Rapidash. Oh, so pretty. Some lava leaking out of there. Don't want to touch that. Ooh, some berries. What berries is this? What is this? Chillin' berry. Halves the damage taken from a normal type attack. Oh, that's pretty useful. From what I understand with how berries work, if I understand it correctly, there is only a specific amount of berries are able to spawn naturally on the actual, uh, in the actual world. And what you have to do is you have to plant the specific berries that you can find next to each other in order to crossbreed them, in order to get berries which don't spawn naturally. Which I think that is such an amazing mechanic and, uh, I mean, in my private time, that is definitely something I'd love to do one day. Just create a massive garden full of berries for the Pokemons. But obviously, because the developers that said, you know what, we're not going to stop there. Because that's not, you know, enough content. If I'm correct, and I'm not sure about this, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I swear you can then use berries, as well as a few other of the Cobblemon items, to create uh, candies and level up things and potions and stuff like that. I think that's how it works. I definitely am going to have to look into that at some point because I don't know if you remember from the uh, visual of the beginning of the first episode, but between the 8th gym leader, which I know is still a long while away, but between the 10 days of the final gym leader and then the Elite Four, the level, it spikes by like 20 or 30 levels or so. It goes from like level 50 to like level 70, 80. So if we find a way to create rare candies, then that is going to make our life significantly easier. I should definitely keep an eye out on trying to do that at some point and figuring it out. Now, I haven't seen any purple flowers just yet, so I'm hoping I randomly happen to stumble upon them, but no such luck so far. I'm gonna walk through this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm still going. Yeah, I'm still going 
not the right direction. I need to go down this way. I was heading towards the beaches and I don't want to go towards the beaches. I need to go towards the desert. So let's go down here. Let's just eat some food. Don't want to be starving. Oh, I can see the border of the jungle. I know that. Oh, that would have been a nasty fall. I know that the jungle is right next to the desert. Oh, hello, fire horse number two. Ah, the desert. There we are. And of course, the, the jungle as well. It's a small jungle. It's not very big. But it's good to know that there is jungle here in case we need any of the wood or the Pokemon from there. I don't think I have a plan on catching any of the Pokemon from the jungle. None, none come to mind. And a cactus. Here we go. This is going to be very useful for us. And the Schneck. Hello, angry shoelace. You look, ah, don't. Go away from me. Ooh, now that is an interesting one, though. Look at that. And a Cacnea. Hey, Shinx. Oh, you're so cool. Potential Pokemon. Maybe. Although Cacnea, look at it. Oh, you look so good. Oh, you look so pretty. When I was a kid, Cacnea used to be my absolute favorite Pokemon. Alongside Pineco. I don't know why. It just, it just did. Something about it, it just really vibed with me, you know. Right, I think we've got enough of Cactus and... Yeah, the sun's gonna be setting soon, and I don't want to be messing about in the in the in the dark. So let's go ahead and head back. Now we still haven't found anything purple. Oh yeah, by the way, I I completely glossed over that. Yeah, there is a massive pyramid there. That is the that is the Young's Better Desert Temples mod. I haven't actually explored it myself, so I don't know how good it actually is. But from the outside, the shell of it looks quite grand. So I can imagine it's quite impressive inside as well. If you look in my mod list, which is in the description, I do have pretty much almost all of the Young's Better Structures mods installed. Oh, and I need to eat. My boy is tired. But as I was saying, I've got pretty much all of the Young's Better Structures uh, mods installed. So it is very likely that we're going to see quite a few impressive buildings just around the world. And yes, that does include the better stronghold, which means that once we eventually go get, you know, go there, it's going to be an interesting, <laughs> interesting adventure. I'm just taking a detour into this foresty area because I know for a fact that sometimes that's a fire. That's a lava. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely burning. Ooh, actually, this might answer our prayers. Not not the fire, the, this, this over here. So I was going to say we should come over here because I know that purple flowers spawn in this place quite often. But obviously they, they don't. But we found something else that's really good. We found the pink apricorn, which we should be able to, if I remembered correctly, and I'm going to be really sad if this doesn't work, but I swear you're able to cook the apricorns in order to get dyes. So if we cook this pink one, we should be able to get the magenta dye. I hope. If not, then it's just going to have to go back to, you know, it's just going to have to be going back to the drawing board for now. But we do have to try and get back relatively fast because it did just turn into night. The darkness fell on us. And in full honesty, I don't want to be dodging arrows. But I think that's what's, what's going to happen. I think that's what we're going to do in a bit. We're going to be playing tag with the skinny people. Oh, and there is one. I see one. Ooh, don't shoot at me. Oh, no, they've heard me. Ooh. They're coming in full force. Ah, I need to get out. That was some uh, failed parkour skills. Am I even going the right way? I don't think I am. No, yes, I am. That's my village. That's where I need to go. Oh, no. First the skinny people. Now the elderly. Oh, that's a big hole. One second, lads. I'm being chased by old people. And yep. Oh, that's so... Ah! Non-consensual backshots. Not happy about that whatsoever. I need to eat something. Oh, by the way, guys, in the comments, remind me to show you something really cool next episode. That only happens during night time. Just, just remind me. Give me a reminder. There we go. We made it back to base. Now, let's cook this acorn. Please be magenta. Please be magenta. Please be magnetic. Please be magenta. Come on. Pink. Shit. All right. Well, I wasted a call. Might as well cook cooked a cactus. Can I maybe combine it with the blue and make magenta? Is that gonna, is that gonna work? I'm gonna need a blue flower for that. Luckily, I'm pretty sure I saw one over here somewhere next to the skeletons. There they are. Oh, I think the iron golem finally bit the dust. Oh no, there it is. Bro's still surviving. Look at him. Right, let's get this. Let's get that. Please work. No! God damn it. Useless. All three of you. 
Well, I suppose it's back to the drawing board then. <laughs> the hell are you looking at? I know. I know what you do. I know what you do. Yep, I know it. Why am I... Why am I... Uh, slow? Just like in the real Pokemon, these things explode. And I'm not letting that happen. So I don't need this. But... Move your ass. There we go. So now we only need green and purple. Good to... Oh. Good to know. Let's put that there. Oh, no. Don't sleep. I do not want to sleep just yet. Get the cactus. And put the rest in here in case we need it later. And... You know what? While we're looking for purple, we're going to go ahead and we're going to train Kozzle. So if we have a look at his stats, IVs, EVs. So we got two in special attack, two in attack for now, and two in special defense. That is because of the... and eight in speed. So that is because of the last battle against the gym leader. There's nothing I can do about that, sadly. But the first thing I want to teach this guy is going to be his speed. So if I give him the power anklet and then we find a suitable opponent such as this zigzagoon or ideally let's have a look 19 okay we want to find low level opponents and i'll explain why but while i'm doing this demonstration if i now go bite ember that's a zombie isn't it yep there we go and do bite again there we go Zigzagoon's gone. We've got some experience. And we've got 32 speed. Look at that. So what this anklet does is that you normally get one or two or even three points, depending on what Pokemon you defeat, from that Pokemon onto your Pokemon into their specific stats. Now, if your Pokemon is holding a power item, when they defeat the Pokemon and get the one, two, or three points, they will also get extra eight points on top of that, which makes... EV training significantly easier. So now we just need to be careful and take down any Pokemon which do give the speed EVs which include Rattatas, Zigzagoons and pretty much most of the flying types. Just a random block of dirt. Goddamn Enderman. And we're gonna go up into the Cherry Grove as that is where we need to be to look for some pink flowers. Not pink, magenta. Magenta flowers and while we're up there we can also find some flying types or ratatas or so on and train Kozzle's speed stat. Heard a skeleton. Yep, that's a skeleton. Whoop. Right, so still a few mobs here. I probably can't make these into into my Wow, that is pretty. I've got stuff after me and I don't want it to knock me off the hill. Come on. Look at that. Just savor that for a second. Wow, ow. Okay, everything's burning. The elderly, they're disintegrating. Even the creepers, bro. Good lord. This is a massacre. I was wondering, though, am I going to be able to turn... Oh, it turns into pink as well. I need magenta. We're just going to have to go this way and see if we find any any magenta purple flowers. Bah. Ooh, some yellow apricorns. Let's take these. Here we go. And the rest of them aren't grown yet, so we'll leave them to it. Hmm, not seeing any yet. No flowers. There's going to be some. I'm convinced there's going to be some flowers somewhere here. Ooh, a P-Dub. What level are you? 19. Oh, I really want a lower level if possible. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's correct. So, I'm going to... Because we are only able to level up to level 25, because if we level up past that, we're not going to be legible to fight, use that Pokemon to fight in the next gym battle. I want to train my Pokemon against Pokemon which are as low level as possible a lot of the time, as, as many levels as possible so like level 24 zigzagoon that, that ain't gonna go that's not gonna fly first of all it would wipe my ass second of all it would give us too much xp to work with i want to defeat as many opponents as possible while gaining as little xp as possible and i see another pedove here s somewhere there you are blending in what level are you 25 no this this won't do this see this is what i'm saying you can't be high level and i'm still not seeing purple Ooh, ooh, ooh. that might be something do you see that? I think I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's purple flowers. Let's go. Let's go get them. And there's something over here as well. However, those are that's pink tulips, isn't it? That's not gonna work. Let's go up there. Let's scale. Let's let's climb the hill. Actually, hold on. Will this work? Pink. Come on. So that's not gonna work. Right. Please. 
work. You are my last hope now. If these flowers don't give magnetic colors, I am going to do something. I don't know what yet, but I'll do something. I need to get up there. That's an impressive looking cave. Damn, boy. Mother nature is gaped. Damn. If I can just climb up. Ooh, I see a halo. Level 18. You know what? This will do. We need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of training anyway and quickly do a bite. Oh, it missed. Come on. You're better than this. Oh, it missed again. Brother, he used one. There you go. Nice. Let's just check that I've done the right one. 26. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing last time. Whoops, my bad. It's actually this that we're looking at. Now, let's see. Yes, magenta dye. There we go. That's what we want. So we only need one. I'm just going to plant that back and now we need to make our way back home which is over here let's go ow oh there's no way down from there okay let's just go back down where we came from slowly and carefully there's a pretty flower field oh does a weedle give speed stats because i i just i see a weedle here i swear it does where is it where are you there you are you're about to get harvested hell yeah get farmed Let's have a look. Yep, it does. 35. But you are poisoned. And it's it's slowly taking down our health bar. Well, that's not very good. Um, hmm. I don't have any natural remedies. We just need to get home as soon as possible, heal it, and then we can continue and proceed with the training and the crafting. There it is, our base of operations. And I'm seeing on the map, I think there is a, a portal there. Let's have a look. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's pretty. That is, that is juicy. Let's see, anything useful? Some nuggets, I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'll grab the flint. Maybe this? Hmm. Nothing else that's really catching my attention. Okay, so now we just need to make it across this, oh, uh, this hill. I, I would jump, but I'm too much of a coward. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Not doing it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Hello there, Bidoof. I am one of you. Now we just need to get up this hill and we're home. I think I should be able to craft a few bits with these. Yeah, one of these, one of these. Let's put them away. Let's put these away as well. Oh, actually I can plant those. Let's just put them there. Now it's just a green one that we need. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Ooh, and we can harvest some of our pumpkins, can't we? Well, pretty much all of them, really. We're going to be able to use these to sell to the villagers eventually. Let's let those grow. And now, let's get four diamonds. Let's get... Oh, yeah, Kozel, I need to heal you. Oh, my God. There you go. I'm not going to leave you dead. Right, get the gravel, get the sand, and let's make the concrete. First of all, we have the magenta, and then the green. Let's go ahead and turn them into proper concrete. That's the green one's done. And now the purple one, the magenta one. Right, Pokepedia, I am calling upon you once more. What do I need? So I'm going to need the light blue one, cyan mint one. And then for the green, I'm going to need the white one. So one, two of these, one, two of these. And we should be able to craft it now. If I do that like that, put those there. And then like that, that is not correct. Is it this one? What am I doing wrong here? Let me just do this one first. Okay, so we got that. What am I doing wrong with this? Pokepedia. Oh! Oh! It was lime. You lied to me. Okay, so I need to take one of these. I'm going to put this one away. Put that there. And I need to take some of that. Combine it. Get these two together. Lime dye. And then... Whoa! A tiny! Tiny! Oh, evil! Monster! Ah! Go away! Freak. Dispose of the body. Right. Where was I? So make some concrete. Oh, wow. That works. Oh, well, that's sick. You can make whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you do. It always makes lime concrete. That's funny to know. Okay. Let's just go ahead and grow that. Quickly harvest that. Not me getting sidetracked again. I'm going to throw that away, but I'm going to need to change this into proper lime concrete. There we go. Just throw that away. Don't need that. And now we should be able to craft it. Huzzah! Took a while, but we got there. 
put the lime one away and we've got a complete collection there we go so now what i want to do is I want to focus on training. So let's go ahead and start finding the Pokemon that we do need to defeat. Which basically just means kind of running back and forth until the Pokemon that we need to defeat spawn in. And you know what? While I'm running around, I might as well go and get those. Ah, here we go. Ratata, level 22. Um, Kozzle, what are you feeling? Are you feeling brave? You think you can take this one out? Hyper Fang. Okay, that's not a good start. Uh, don't use Hyper Fang again. Ah! Right, let's, we're, we're running. Let's go. That was not a good battle. All right, Kozel, into the healing machine you go. Ooh, another Rattata. Right, let's see if this one's any weaker. Level 21. Oh, come on. Ooh, but there's another one. Level 15. Yes, yes, yes. Fight this thing. While you're fighting that, I'm going to fight this. Throw that away. And destroy it. Come on. Flinched. Brother. Ow. be gone oh hello did you win the battle oh he won the battle sick bro that's the level 21 one and that's another skeleton don't want to be fighting these oh i saw a ditto it just despawned it was there for like a solid second i need to catch one ditto is on my to catch list zubat level 14 hold on i need to look this one up yep zubat does indeed give a speed ev point kozzel buddy why do you keep flinching there you go you did it and there's a zigzagoon somewhere. There you are, lurking in the grass. Level 18, yeah, sure, we're gonna take you on. Go on, Kozzle, take him out. Yes, well done, Kozzle. I wish I could feed you. Now, that would be amazing. 62 speed, we're getting there. Although, that's a really good idea, isn't it? For Cobblemon. Adding the items from, uh, like, curries and food items for Pokemon and being able to feed, make those items by harvesting plants, berries, and so on. And then giving those, being able to feed those items to your Pokemon to increase their friendship little by little. I mean, it would probably be broken because you could very easily just feed your Pokemon a bunch of food that you mass crafted in order to increase the friendship, which in some cases results in the Pokemon's evolution, like the evolutions, and then also... Torkoal, hello! Oh, you're so cool. That's a nice design. I like that. The Chansey Evolution line as well. That uses friendship to evolve. So it would be a little overpowered here and there. But I think it would be a very nice and definitely immersive addition to, to Cobblemon. Oh, hello, Eevee. Hi. Right, Kozzle, you know what to do. Oh, this Eevee is wiping us. Oh, well, there goes Kozzle. Okay. Not Meg. You're up. <laughs> Stay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tackle. I don't want to kill it. I want to catch this thing. That did nothing. All right, razor leaf. That's a bit better. One more. One more. And now we should be able to go ahead and catch it. Come on. Do it. No! Again, capture. Oh, that's stubborn, this thing. Come on, get it. Brother, I don't have infinite Pokeballs, and I don't want to waste them all on you. Come on, stay in the ball. <laughs> huh? Did my... I'm not losing the CV. Where's my healing machine? Quick. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Come on. I see it on the map. There you are. You sassy fiend. Oh, it's full health again. All right, then. Oh, I wasted like five Pokeballs on that. Come on. Now, why couldn't you have done that the first time around? Thank you. We got an EV. Now, let's see what stats it's got. Because I want to find one which has really good stats. I'm going to passively catch them. I think I said this in the previous video. IVs. Oh, wow. One perfect HP, really good attack, really bad special attack, and f fairly good speed. Okay. All right. I can... Yeah, that's, that's all right, isn't it? So we already have one, so I'm going to just put that there. And we're going to kind of collect Eevees as we go through the series, whenever we find them. And at some point in the future episode, we're going to just pick one that has the best stats, which we would like to train up. Now, I need to actually continue with my training because there isn't many Pokemon that are spawning, which I'm going to be able to fight here. There's a Pidove there. Let's go ahead and take down the Pidove. I need Pokemon. I have a limited amount of days and there's still a lot of things I want to do. 23. Oh, hold on. Wrong Pokemon, bro. 
Right, let's uh, let's go away. Kuzzle, it's you, buddy. You're supposed to be fighting, not no, not not Meg. There we go. Taylo, level 15, perfect. Kuzzle, bite it, bite it, tear it, shred it, bite, crunch, destroy, flame wheel. Yes. Now roast the carcass, burn. Can you imagine if I fell in love with them? Is there? anymore there is a tail there but i'll have to go all the way down and then back up to get it eh come on i need to train i need to train the pokemons where are you where did you go there you are level 24 <gasps> buddy you're too strong i don't want to fight you there is a zigzagoon up there there's two zigzagoons up there and another tail down here somewhere um or up is it up oh and uh these let's get these since i'm already on this side there we go oh one more almost missed you would have had to kiss you. Now, where are you? I can see a Zigzagoon level 15. Yes, that's gonna work. Flame wheel it. Almost, almost one hit. There we go. That's that done. And there should be, yeah, there it is. That, that's 24 level one. I don't wanna fight that. Although I do see a Pidgey. Maybe Pidgey will be lower level. 17. Yes, please. Ember, grill it. Grill the chicken titty. I should start collecting these. These are going to be a really good food source. Ooh, I see a couple of zigzagoons up here. Let's go get them. There they are. Level 22 and 18. Let's start with the level 18 one as soon as it stops running away. Ember and flame wheel. Nice. And where's you gone? There you are. Bite and finish it up with flame wheel. Oh, okay. That didn't kill it. Ember. Oh, it's using rest. No, 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 no. I'm not letting you trap me in this infinite rest cycle you're going down nice and kozil is now level 22 let's see how his stats are coming along 107 we're getting there we're getting there i doubt we're gonna be able to max out the speed stat before we re before we reach level 25 but the higher we can get it the better i can see a tail over here somewhere where are you there you are 26 no no uh -uh. we're not touching that no thank you and it is turning night, so I'm going to slowly make my way back to the lit up area of the base. Ooh, Taylor, Taylor, it just spawned. I just saw it spawn. Where are you? There's the Oddish. Oh, there you are. Literally hiding in, in the, the, behind a block. Right, level 22. Yeah, we, we can. Uh-oh. Um, flame wheel? Nope. It took us down. It used quick attack. Oh, smart thing. Honestly, let's go. Oh, that's cool. That's cool how that lights up. Let's go home. I'm gonna do a bit of healing, a tiny bit of meditation, maybe some ASMR, and Kozil will be back up in business in no time. I'm so proud of this. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. Can't wait to verse the next one, but we need to get our training complete. Now let's just hope that we get a bunch of Rattatas spawning in our vicinity because that is gonna be really... Or Zubats. Zubats are gonna be a really good source of speed IVs. Oh, Level 16, is it? I can't stop moving. Rat. 19. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. There we go. And I can see a zigzagoon. It's probably going to be down here somewhere under the hill. Yeah. Level 16. Perfect. Perfect level. Not not many not many XPs. Single hit. And maximum EV points. Sick. Ooh. I can see more. I can see more. I can see a zigzagoon and a ratata. Ratata. Tatara. Let's get it. 21. Yeah, we'll we'll do this. We're fine. Oh my god, look at the little wiggle it's doing. It's battle ready. The battle wiggle. That's its power stance, bro. Come on, another flame wheel and it should be done. Yeah, there it goes. Now, where is that? That ratata is there, but... Oh, there's lava in the way. Let's go above the lava. Yep, yeah, Kozil, come back into the ball. I'm not having you fall into the lava. Level 17, yes. Fight. Uh-oh. Was it Hyperfang? No, it was just normal bite. Okay, well, at least it went down in one hit. And since I'm on this side now anyway, let's go ahead and get all of the acorns from here. Yep, yeah, I think that's all of them. Let's go ahead and collect them. And I think that's it. And we got two more sprouts, two more seeds. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is menacing. Wow, look at this cave, though. It's impressive. We're going to explore that at some point. We definitely are. Uh, I just need to figure out how to get back onto solid earth. Yup. Ooh, nice. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing up there? 24. Yeah, I'm not I'm not fighting you. Too high level. Just do a quick heal while we're here. Then we can go ahead and make our way down here. Hopefully a few more uh, few, nor few, few more night critters will spawn. I can see that there's a corgi. Sadly, we don't need a corgi. And while I'm waiting, I might as well just do a little bit of 
harvesting because that Eevee that we were capturing really absorbed my low amount of Pokeballs. So I need to make a few more. Ooh, we got some undead coming our way, but that's fine. We've already finished harvesting. Let's go into the into the city center over here. We've got an iron golem to protect us, and there is a zigzagoon. There it is. It's running away. Ooh, horsey. Oh, you look cool. What level are you? Level 31. Damn, bro. You're majestic. What level are you? 24. Ah, wish you were a lower level. That would have been really good if you were a lower, lower level. But, alas, you're not. That's a shame. But it's okay. I was going to plant some more trees. I've got some zombies behind me. Oh, oh no, the old iron golem just got absolutely demolished. Well, let's go ahead and grab the iron from him as well, at least. And let's go ahead and just place these trees over here. I'm not going to bother planting any more. I will save the saplings in case I need them. But I think that should be enough trees for us for now. Let's put this iron away. Let's take all of this. Let's deposit that. Ooh, I need the copper. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of Pokeballs. There we go. We got a stack of Pokeballs ready for when we need it. Let's just put this bone away as well. And we should put these away too. We don't really need them. Oh, and we got the pumpkins, don't we? Oh, and there's a few more that grew. I keep getting... I'm never going to get these Pokemon trained. Well, it's about to be day five, so we're still... We still got, like, tons of time. But, you know, shouldn't be getting distracted this much. Ooh. Hello, Rain. Pretty. Now, is there anything around us that gives a speed EV? It doesn't look like there is, unless I'm... Uh, I don't think a Bunnelby does. I'm just going to need to walk around a bit more, see if I find anything. Because at the moment, uh, literally nothing is spawning. I might as well craft a new spoon while I'm here. So we ran out of the old one. Oh wow, two Mime Juniors. Sick. Which reminds me, someone pointed out, apparently in the beginning of my last video, there was a... Uh, about, I don't, I don't remember when, how far in, but when I first found this village, there was a shiny Mr. Mime somewhere. Which, that is bizarre, because... I've got a shiny notification set up, so whenever there's a shiny Pokemon in my vicinity somewhere, I should get a little notification pop-up saying, Hey, there's a, there's a shiny, doo -doo -doo -doo. but it didn't do that. Not that I can remember, at least. So it's quite funky that there was a shiny Mr. Mime, and not only did I not notice it, I completely missed it. It didn't even notify me. Fingers crossed that's not going to be the case for a lot of the Pokemon that I find that are shiny, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Right, Kozzle, Flame Wheel, and Ember. There you go. Let's get the carcass. Whoa! Look at that! Electrovire! Level 47! Oh, you look so cool! Hey, buddy. Oh, uh, careful. Oi, let me get a look at you. He, he really doesn't want to... He's looking at the scenic view. He really doesn't want to look at me. Come on. Look at me. Oh, you look so cool! Alright, he's very temperamental, that one. He really doesn't want to look at me. <laughs> we'll leave you to it. We'll leave you alone. We've got some Talos and Pidgeys to hunt anyway. Oh, we got... Okay, that's bad. We gotta run. I don't want uh, multiple Pokemon getting dragged into IV training. There we go. Let's try again. Maybe we can get it out without getting swapped out this time. No, we got swapped out. Okay, we need to go and heal the Pokemon anyway. See, look at that. Look how many Talos there are around us. As soon as we have an actual good source of speed EVs, we start getting annoying Pokemon like that. Oh, uh, well, nothing we can do about it, I guess. We just gotta go ahead and heal up. I do see a Pidgey on our side, though. Let's see. Hopefully, it's not too high level. 16! All right, okay, we can take this. Let's go. Flame Wheel. Almost one shot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Brother, do not miss twice in a row. Seriously. There we go. Come on, bro. It's a level 16 PG. You can do better. And we've just hit level 23, so we got a few more battles before we leave before we hit level 25. So I'm wondering. Let's have a look. We're currently on 161. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We might be able to get it all the way to 252 before we hit level 25, but we'll have to pick our enemies very selectively. We'll just really have to fight low levels, which this being level 22 wasn't the best example, but you know, yeah, look at that. That literally filled like one third of our level up bar. It's not the best. 
I wonder, you know what? If that's the case, let's go up here. Let's see if we can find any Weedles alongside the bird Pokemons. And that way, we're not, we're not going to be really getting much XP. So we shouldn't be leveling up, but we're going to still be getting a really good amount of... Uh, really good amount of speed IVs. I can already see a Pidov up here somewhere. There you are, level 24. Nope, we're not touching you. Zigzagoon, where are you? Where are you? There you are, level 19. Okay, we'll take this. We'll take you down, Flame Wheel and Ember. There we go. And I can see a Weedle up there. Let's go get the Weedle. There you are, Flame Wheel the Weedle. Single hit, amazing. And there should be a Taillow right next to this tree. Yeah, level 16 Taillow. There we go. Now we're in a now we're in a roll. See how how much faster and easier this is. Should have just come up here in the first place. Let's have a run around. Let's see if we. Ooh, Kakuna. I'm gonna have to research what this gives. Okay, it's not speed, so I'm gonna guess it's very likely defense, but it's definitely not speed, so I'm not touching that. There is a Pidgey here. Let's see if we can find it. That's a that's a sheep. That's a ba. I do not want that. Where is this Pidgey? I see- Oh, there you are sneaking right past me and level 14. Amazing. Here, quick, flame wheel. Ooh. Buddy, I am a little busy having a Pokemon battle here. Please do not interrupt, thank you. Well done, Kozzle. You did well. Ooh, I see another Weedle. Let's go get it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And some blue mints. I'm gonna leave those though because I don't really need them. Hey, excuse you, where are you trying to go? Mr. Level 15 Weedle, come back. There we go, become nourishment for my speed EVs. Level 27, no way am I touching that. Although, what about this Pidgey? Level 24, that's still too high. That's still too high. Ooh, Zubat. Zubat, please be low level, please be. 16, yeah, we can work with this. Flame wheel. Oh, poisoned, we got poisoned. That's not good. But at least we took it down in single hit. We're gonna make our way back to uh, back to the healing machine. Because eventually Kozzle is gonna give and I don't want him to give. It's this way. We gotta go this way. How are our stats doing though? Oh my god, we're actually so close! Right, quickly, let's go heal up Kozzle. And then I can start his uh, second training before we get to level 24, 25. Because in the next bat, well, to be fair, once we're level 20... Okay, no. Let's go get healed up. And by the time we're done with the speed training, we would have maxed out the speed EV. But also we'll be level 24, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to train anything else for Kozzle. There we go. Now let's go back up there. I should probably make like a path for a... <laughs> or a... What's its, what's its name? Like a ladder or some, some way to get up. That's a bit easier than this. I can't even sprint. I need to eat some food. I'm just rushing. I'm really rushing because I want to get this done. I'm really excited to get it done. So I'm a little all over the place, but it's fine. Oh, kitty cat. Level 14. Yes, please. What a perfect start. Oh, I can hear zombies. So annoying. Oh, level 26 again, though. We'll take that. Hello, buddy. Flame wheel. I can hear another one. Yeah, and uh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, what a fight. Quick, use bite. Win it. Okay, good. Right, let's go. Let's get out of here. We're gonna have to go back down. I don't want to be dealing with all these zombies and a creeper and whatever else is behind us. Well, let's do a quick heal. And some of them have actually followed us. Oh, we got some pursuiters. Pursuers. Just gonna take care of them like that. Ooh, rat attack, level 14. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better opponent. Boom, one hit. Let's just throw this away. And let's have a quick look. Oh, we need to do one more battle. One more singular battle against an opponent. And this level 15 Ratata. 25, never mind. Okay, well, gotta end it off with a bang, don't we? Come on. Flame wheel again. And we got it. Well done, Kozzle, well done. You're level 24 midway through and you've got 252 in speed Ooh, even the the gods are saying stuff about whoa that was some lightning oh we hit over there look at that okay that's getting progressively closer i'm not <laughs> what should actually strike me next 
Right, so we got Kozul all trained up. Let's take away his power anklet. So now he's got really good speed. He's got all maximum speed IV. We're going to leave that as it is now. Because now... Ooh, that's another thunder. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead. Someone's not happy. I want to train Nutmeg. So if I just do some quick healing. And the first thing I want to train Nutmeg in is health. I think it's the green one. But I'm just going to consult the Pokepedia. 8 HP EVs. Yep, yeah, that's correct. So let's just put that away. Let's give you the weight one. Let's put these chickens in there. Quickly harvest some of the pumpkins. And now I need to just go ahead and figure out which Pokemon give HP EVs. Okay, so my research is done and I have two bad news which are equally as bad. Ooh, carrot. So, in order to get HP EVs, we need to either, one, go all the way here to the beaches and continuously take down slow pokes, which, one, it's far away, and as soon as it hits night, these beaches are going to be full of mobs, which isn't going to be fun. And also, slow pokes are going to give us quite a bit of uh, experience points because they're all going to be fairly high level, which means that we're not going to be able to take out that many of them before we level up, which that's not what I want because I want to be able to take up, take out as many of the Pokemon to get as many of the EV points as we can before we hit, before we hit the, the level 25 cap. So then there's option number two, which is equally as annoying, I suppose which would be to traverse this cherry grove biome and look for Caterpies, which will give us significantly less XPs, therefore we are going to be able to fight significantly more of them. But the bad thing about that is that they're not going to be spawning as much, and they are also a book type, which means that they're going to be fairly annoying to defeat with Nutmeg. So I think just putting together the pros and cons and of, of hunting both the parties, I think we're going to be better off going for the Caterpie. I'm going to take the healing machine up there, and it's really close to the base anyway, but I think just overall, since we are trying to maximize the the EV output, the EV intake, this is just going to yield better results for us in the long, in, in the short term. Whoa! Okay, um, quick, um, okay, down, 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 we're not climbing up there. Go, go, get out of here. Go, go, go. Ooh. Just, ooh. I need to eat something. Oh, that could have been my death right there. That's not very good. What is, what is that light? Is that, I think that's a lava pool. Yeah, it's probably a lava pool. Can't imagine it being anything else. <laughs> right, let's get back up. Didn't like being assaulted like that. Thank you very much. So now, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. I should have just done this in the day. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go yeah because this is gonna absolutely i'm gonna get sniped yeah there it is i'm gonna so die oh i'm getting absolutely chased down right you're on my turf now ow ow come on there we go one shot from that and i'm dead i can't even approach my bed oh what do i do <laughs> and i need to sleep because i don't want to get phantoms hold on if i hide if i hide where are you there you are yes I am a tactician. Now quickly sleep before it's daytime. That way I'm not wasting the night because I've already gone through it. I've reset the phantom counter and we're good to go. Right, let's let's climb back up. Let's get those caterpies. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. Oh, there's two. Okay, let's not look at you. I don't want to anger you because you are 100% going to be able to one-tap me. And I don't think I want that. Now, let's go ahead and try and find some caterpies which i can already see one that's 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 good that's a good start let's just see where you hide there you go there you are level 15 yeah that'll do right grottle tackle i'm gonna have to stick to using tackle because uh any other grass attacks are just not going to be effective whatsoever so it's going to be completely pointless trying to use any other attacks right that's that done and let's just double check yep yeah, nine hp okay sick Let's go ahead and run around because we need to find a few more. Just gonna slowly run around and dodge these skeletons. Ooh, to be fair, Iggly, Igglies, Iggly Wigglies. 
I think they give HPs as well. Hold on. They do. I just looked it up. They do. And I always see tons of them all the time. This is amazing. Ow. Come on. Just die already. Right, where did it go? There you are. Right, let's take you down. And they're easy to take down. This is amazing. Yep, there we go, 18. This is working out. This is working out really well. I always see tons of them in this biome. So if we can hunt these and then also the caterpies, this is going to be easy. I've made the right choice with this. Right, there we go. We got another one, level 21, but that's fine. We can take this one down. It's a little more buff, iggly buff. <laughs> <laughs> but it poses no trouble as it literally does no damage. Nice one. Let's continue. Let us continue looking for Igly buffs and Caterpies. I do see that Metapod up there, but I'm pretty sure that gives uh, defense or something else. I know it doesn't give HP. Ooh, Caterpie. Here we go. Where are you? Where are you? I see you on the map. I just don't see you. See you. Ah, there you are. Hiding in the crevice. In the creeks. Ooh, why did I? I wanted to click Tackle. I didn't want to click Absorb. Come on. Tackle it. Kill it. Oh, this one's quite buff. This is level 19. Come on, take it down. Don't let it take you down. One more attack. There you go. Well done. Nice one. Oh, we're going to need to heal in a little bit, aren't we? Ooh, Igly buff. Right, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to just quickly place this. Sure. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then he... he, he, he <laughs> Healing point. Confirm. There we go. We got our healing station set so I can charge up. And now I can go ahead and just quickly feed you some orange berries for health and take out the level 15 Igly buff. Go on, Razor Leaf. Yes! EC. And oh, we got an orange berry back. Sick. See the pumpkin pie. And there should be a caterpie here somewhere. Where are you, bro? I know you're here. I know you're hiding. I see you. I see you lurking. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm just blind. Right. Tackle it. Level 18, but that's fine. That's fine. We got it. You got it, Nutmeg. One more tackle. Well done, buddy. Who would have thought that Nutmeg's greatest arch nemesis at the moment would be goddamn worms? Right. We're healed up. Let's walk around a bit. And hopefully get some new spawns in. And look at that. We're doing pretty well. 54 points already. I'm going to make Nutmeg into such a tank. You have no idea. Igly buff. Got ya. I see you. Where are you? Where did you go? Ah, there you are. Right in front of me. Razor Leaf. Single hit KO. Hell yeah. Well done, buddy. And I see another one. Yeah, this cherry, this cherry growth was definitely the right choice for training. Where did you... I can never see them. They blend in with the surroundings so well. I just see them on the map. Can you imagine how much more tedious this would be without the map? Like, if I didn't have the mark, this is why I wanted the... I know it might be considered a bit of a, a cheating in a way, having a map that shows the radar with all of the Pokemons around us. But can you imagine if I was trying to do this without any help at all, without the radar, not being able to see where the Pokemon around us are? This would take me, like, easily five times the time. So I'm definitely so happy that I've got the map that I can just look at and see where the Pokemon, where what Pokemon are. Oh, Nutmeg has learned Bite. Okay, let's swap that out with the Tackle. Let's just do a little uh, little bit of Feng Shui with the movesets. That looks a lot better. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find anything else. Let's just keep going a little further down. Maybe I'll get a few more Pokemon to spawn in. And I see some Orin Berries as well. That's good. We can refill our uh, backpack for when we actually need them. Got one, two, three... Which resulted in 19. Damn, these things don't mess around, do they? Let's just put them in our bag. Oh, there it is. Igly buff. Come on, where are you, sexy baby? Hashtag Pokemon Rusty reference. Love that series. Hey, don't fall down. Don't run away. And Razor Leaf. And bite. Oh, is that a Gloom? Oh, wow, it is. I think Vile Plume is such a good underrated Pokemon. Just in terms of it looks. It, it looks so pretty. If I didn't have a grass type, if I didn't have Grottle with me on my team, I definitely would have uh, got either a Souls Book, the Autumn version, or a Vile Plume on my team. Such a pretty Pokemon. Right, level 17 Caterpie, you are about to get bitten. And that was really effective. Damn, boy. I'm actually so happy with how this is going. This is going so well. Just need to find a few more of them. But overall... Look at that, we're at 100 now, we're, and we're not even, we're, we're halfway to level 25. This, I am feeling optimistic about this. This is going to be really good, I think. Now, the issue is going to begin now with night time. That is when it's going to get a little problematic. So what I'm going to do is, because it's becoming night time, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to go into a cave. Because there is something that I want to do on the side while I'm doing this, which I can do during the night. 
so that I can stay productive in the middle of the night and then be productive by training my Pokemon in the day. Oh, I've really screwed myself up here, haven't I? Um, I'm not brave enough for that jump. There we go. I just need to make it back to the mainland. Ow. Oh my god, there's a Gibble. There's a Gibble. Hold on, I want a Gibble. Oh, I'm catching that. Hold on. Back up, quick, 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 quickly. Get back up there. Oh, where is it? Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with skeletons now, aren't I? Yeah. Quick. Delete. Delete you. Now, where is this Gibble? <gasps> there it is. Oh my god, no way. Hold on. I want it. I want it. I want this on my team. I want a Gibble on my... It's level 26, so I'm not gonna be able to even use it, even if I catch it, but... Oh, you know what? This is gonna be such a good future Pokemon. I'm getting it. I don't know how rare this thing is, but I am getting a Gibble. Right. Let's start this off. Fight. Bite again. And bite one more time. And now, let's get our Pokeball out. Please catch. If I can get this on the first try, it's going to save me such a hassle. Come on. Damn it! Right. Try again. Oh my god, we got it. Yes, we got a Gibble! It's a dragon and ground type. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I'm so happy with this. That's our dragon Pokemon covered. Oh, I love Gibble. Well, I guess we kind of have a new Pokemon in our party. But Bro is going to have to wait until the, the next gym battle to even be used. So, because he's not leg legible to be used in this gym battle until after we win it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just plop this down. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to heal. And then... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, we're sword fighting. Oh, he could have dropped his sword. That would have been good. Shame. That's all right, though. But yes, as soon as that machine is charged, I'm going to heal all of the Pokemons up. I'm going to heal Gibble up. And I'm going to just leave him in the PC for now. And in the next episode, after we got the second gym badge, hopefully, I'm going to start training him up. For now, let's do my night activity, which I would like to do. By collecting some of these, just need to get down here to get them. I need nine. Perfect. Now that I've got nine of these, I'm gonna need some more dirt, some cobblestone. I'll take the stone as well. I'll just need nine of this. Okay, I think that should be good. So I'm gonna build this over here. It's gonna be the easiest to build over here. If I go get the dirt. One, two. Let's do it a little farther off. Then I get that. Okay, we got the platform done. Now we just need to surround it by putting cobblestone around it, as so. Now let's get rid of the edge parts. Yeah, there we go. We don't need the edges. But what we do need is to get the dripstone and put it at the bottom like so. Now this is where the expensive part is going to come into play because I don't want to use all of our iron for this, but I do want a little bit. So let's do five for now. And then if we get more iron in the future, I'll use more iron then. But for now, one, two, three. One, two. Let's do six. Oh, wait. No, I need more iron for that. What am I doing? My, my mind has just absolutely had a fart. <laughs> there we go. Put that away. Put the seed in there. Get this. Put it here. Let's get up here. Use the dirt to divide. And now I need a bucket. Do I already have a bucket? I do. I'm going to get two or three. There we go. Three buckets. And now what I'm going to be able to do is go get that lava. Now I know I have lava here, but I really want to get rid of this little flowy puddle over here. So I'm going to first get this one and then I'm going to get the rest from the actual lava puddle. There we go. Ha! Achievement advancement made. Hot stuff. I'm looking for some hot stuff. Baby, I need it. Oh my god, Jigglypuff. Ooh, Gruttle. Fight this thing. Quick, bite it. Now Razor Leaf. And one more Razor Leaf. Hell yeah. Ooh, that gave us some good stats, that did. Right, let's go get that lava quickly. And I can go ahead and put it up here. And then let's get a few more of them and put them on this side as well. Nice. Now we're going to be able to get lava into these, which essentially created an infinite lava source, which will then allow us to continuously harvest the lava from there, and instead of using our pr precious coal, we'll be able to just use a lava bucket for fuel. Honestly, it's such a good addition. I'm so happy with this. Ever since I started using lava as a fuel source, I've it's, it's just so much better.
it's so much better. Right, let me quickly get those pumpkins. We're going to stop by the village quickly because it's daytime and I don't want to be wasting too much of the day because we got a lot, lot to do. We've got a lot to do. So heal up, grab, deposit the newly acquired gibble in the PC and let's head to the village. Hello, Mr. Villager. I have a few trades that you will not be able to refuse. As long if I can just speak to you. There we go. So, pumpkins. That's it. It seems like five cup pumpkins. Yeah, that'll be well. Now, I need one that trades. Oh, I don't have one that trades apples. I was going to buy some apples. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'll just have to buy a few more pumpkins for now because I need some food. Hey, buddy. Oi. Give me some pumpkins sick bro thank you i'm gonna try and gather a bit of wheat i'm gonna expand my wheat farm at some point i'm gonna get a lot more wheat and i'm gonna level this guy up and hopefully he gives apples because we need apples and i'm gonna keep it a secret as to why but all i'm gonna say is that soon evie i saw you on the map i can see you level 25 come on then come on but as i was saying soon or diet will consist fully of apples oh no we flinched Quick, brother, just use, use, use an attack, please. Okay, good, good, good. We're in a good spot. We're in a really good spot. Right, now, capture. No, come on, stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in the Pokeball. Catch, again. Come on, you're on 16 HP. You cannot, there's no way. There's, oh, come on, stop being difficult. Oh, this thing. Oh, did it kill? Oh no, I'm not letting you. You're not getting away. Not like last time. Come on. Capture. Pokeball. Let's go. Oh, this thing is stubborn. Buddy, just stay in there. Oh, and Kozil is going to be running low on HP soon. This thing is vile. Bro, Eevee, just stay in the Pokeball. God damn. You're wasting my daylight. I should be out training. Oh, we have one more chance. If we don't catch it on this next one, Kozil's just going to die. Yeah, Kozel's dead. All right. You know what? You're an absolute goon. That, that just ticked me off. That did. <laughs> that actually ticked me off. Oh, well. There'll be a next one. There'll be next time. I'll get you next time. And I can't even heal up because I've put down the healing machine. Oh, what a joke. Okay. Let's just get up into the grotto. We've wasted enough time already. Trying to, trying to hunt useless Eevees. Shame. Shame. Now, let's go to the healing point. Let's put down the healer. And then let's walk around a bit until the healing's ready. And hopefully in that time, we're going to find some Iggly buffs and uh, Caterpies. Because we literally have like, what, half a day? If we're lucky. Oh, there we go. Jigglypuff and Iggly buff. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take a while. Am I not going to be able to heal? I'm not going to be able to heal them with Warren Berries. Oh, it's frustrating. And the sun's going down. We're going to end up being here in the middle of the night again. That is really frustrating. How are we doing with our training? 109. Uh, that could have been so much better. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's really a shame. Yeah, 85. There was. It's by the time this is done. This is. I'm going to need to be heading back anyway. Right. You know what? I've uh, made my mind up. We're going to go back to base because uh, waiting here for to get like what maybe one or two battles that's going to be pointless we're just wasting time we're going to go back to base we're going to do a few nightly activities and once we're done with those we're going to come up back up here nice and early and we're going to spend the whole day just fighting and training but for now let's go back down i've got a few things in mind that i want to do ow so we're going to start doing them now and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a bit of a better luck with with fighting okay let's go get a bucket and also a hoe we're gonna do a bit of farming so we got a bucket stick the, the hoe let's take all of these seeds as well i want to set up a few farm plots with uh, wheat because i'm going to need to trade some wheat to some of the villagers so that i can unlock the apple selling villager hopefully and also generally if we set up most of this wheat here it's going to be pretty good for, for one, for food stores, and two, for trading it for emeralds, much like we do with the pumpkins. So, one is going to be here. Next one is going to be down here. Oh, yeah, I haven't put the healing machine down, have I? Let's just put it down so that it charges. Oh, is there a caterpie nearby? I can see it. Oh, it's literally there. Am I going to be able to take it out with Grottle? Come on, Nutmeg. Try and take it down. Bite. No. Ah, 
it was worth a try. Oh, I should have used the Oran Berries. Ah, never mind. Never mind. I uh, can't heal, uh, can't heal yet either. Let's just set up the, the wheat fields. Now, if I bring some water. There we go. All of the four are, for all of the four holes are filled. Now let's do a few of these. Like that. There we go. Let's go get some wooden planks so that I can cover up the holes. One, two, three, four. Don't want to be falling in there. Oh, look at that. Lava. Ah, I love these. I love the lava generator. So one, two, three, and four. Now we can go ahead and make the plots of land. Oh, sorry, buddy. We need another hoe. Am I able to heal? No, I'm not able to heal yet. That's okay. We'll get there. Okay, let's do the ground up. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and plant. Let's harvest these as well, so that we have any extra seeds to plant. Right, that's all of my seeds. We still have one more square to be filled up. So once these grow, that'll definitely provide us with enough seeds to get that done. But that's good, that's good. We can let that grow now. We've got a bit of uh, a bit of wheat from that. So we can go ahead and throw that in there for now. And since it's night time, the other thing that I wanted to do was this. Let's get a few bones. To be fair, I think one bone is going to be enough. Let's change it up into white dye. Let's go ahead and make... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to need some concrete and gravel for this. I need three of these. There we go. Some white concrete powder. Oh, I can heal now as well. Sick. And now I'm going to need some red. I'm going to need some red flowers. So let's go ahead and get the red flowers because I know they grow down here. Yeah, there's one, two, and I'm going to need one more. Uh... I don't see it. Where are the red flowers hiding at? There's going to be some here, right? Yeah, there it is. One more. Nice one. Right, let's take these back to the crafting table. Change them into red dye. Turn them into concrete powder. Now let's go ahead and convert them quickly. Right, I saw the white one done. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a zombie. Decided to come and invade our business. Which I don't think so. And let's quickly do the red one as well. Nice. And now, let's go ahead and upgrade our little battling arena. Ooh, my pickaxe. Come on, we're running on borrowed time. I don't want to be spending the whole day here again. And now the red. And there we go. Look at that. Nice little upgrade for a fighting arena. Oh, I love it. I do love it when it gets a bit of color like that. Right, let's put these away. Igly buff, hello. They're coming to us. They're attacking us now. We've we've attacked too many of them. We've started a war. They're coming for us now. All right, absorb. That did not do anything. Bite it. Bite it. Nice one. Good. All right, let's put these away quickly. And let's go ahead and climb. We need to get up there. We have a whole day of training ahead of us. We need to get Nutmeg as many HP EV points as possible. Oh, I left my healing machine down there, didn't I? Oh, well. Whoop. Womp womp. Too bad. We're just gonna have to be resourceful. Oh, that's a skeleton. Now, let's see how long it's gonna take us to find a source of HP EVs. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Hopefully, something will spawn in a very... There it is. There it is. Caterpie. Level 19. Okay, we can do that. Now bite, and it's down. That leveled us up to 24, which not the best thing, but another level 19 Caterpie, hell yeah. But it's fine, because as long as we don't go above the level 25 cap, so we can be level 25, we just cannot be 26 or above. So as long as we don't go above that, we should be completely okay. But I can already tell we probably won't be maxing it out. We won't be maxing out the HP EVs. I'm guessing we're going to get to about 200 and that's when we're going to have to stop. Level 20. Go on, take it down. Nice one. A critical hit. Well done. Well done, Nutmeg. Ooh, Jigglypuff. Where are you? Although I don't know if I if I want to fight. Yeah, that's a 27. No way. That's going to take us all the way up to, to the level up screen. And we don't want that. Let's have a walk around. Let's see if we can find anything else. Let's see if we can find any more Caterpies. No Caterpie, but I can see an Inglybuff. Where are you? Where, there you are. Level 19. Yeah, that'll do. Now, Razor Leaf. That's going to be the most effective tactic here. And Bite. Nice one. Ooh, White Mint. Sick, bro. 
The amount of times I've been around this area and I never, and I completely just walked past that. That's amazing. Ooh, level 19 Caterpie. Let's take you down. I used the wrong move. I'm not being resourceful. Use Bite. That's a lot more effective. Some Oran Berries. Here you go, Nutmeg. Have some Oran Berries. You can get your HP back with that. And I can see another Caterpie here somewhere. If they weren't so hard to spot, at least. Ah, there it is. Level 20. Yep, yeah, sure, that'll work. Do a bite. Oh, this is a tanky one. This is tanky. But two bites and it goes down. Oh, well done, Nutmeg. You're so good. You're so, so good. Ah, Iggly Buff. Let's go get it. Oh, an Assign Mint. Nice one. Very happy with that one. And this is level 21. I think this one's going to be the one that levels us up to 25. Yeah, I think this is going to... Yeah, there it is. Level 25. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 181. Oh, do I want to risk it? No, I'm going to leave it as it is. Right, don't worry, Nutmeg. We're going to level your HPV stats at some point a bit more. But for now, we're gonna leave it alone. I don't wanna push my luck. But considering we got like 120... Ooh, green mint, that's what we needed. It's the last one we needed to complete our five row. Okay, let's go home. And also, let's just delete this waypoint. Not gonna need it anymore. Oh, hello, buddy. It's a big spider. Am I going the right way? I am, I am, I'm going the right way. Whoa. So pretty. Once again, they need to implement these shaders in some way, shape or form into console Minecraft. I understand why they wouldn't be able to do it, but I think they should and they should make it toggleable. That way anyone on like a Nintendo Switch can just toggle it off because it's too laggy and they can still play with anyone on like a PlayStation 4 or 5. Oh, uh, but you know what? Yeah, that'll ever happen, but eh. One can wish. Right then, let's go ahead and take the, the training thing from you, because you won't need it for now. Let's put it away. Let's put all of these away. Let's put that away. Let's heal the Pokemons up. And let's figure out what we're doing next. Since we are on day eight, and it's turning night time, and we've got pretty much like, what, one, one day, one and a half days, one day, one night? Well, two nights, one day, before day 10, and we have to, and then we have to fight the second gym leader. I'm thinking, let's make a few more torches with the coal that we've just acquired. Oh wow, exactly 64 torches. Damn, couldn't have done that better if I planned it. But, how about we go and explore a bit of that cave. I want to do a little bit of mining to see what we can find, and also we can go ahead and gather quite a bit of iron. Damn, this is gonna be very interesting seeing how I'm gonna <laughs> get in there and light this entire area up. I genuinely don't know where to begin. Let's start here. Let's start with the easiest easiest place. There's some coal up there, so we can go ahead and uh, start by getting the coal from... Okay, right. Nope. It blew up a bit of my coal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, bless me. Oh, that wasn't a lot of coal, was it? Let's go down here. Let's see if we have anything down in this little tiny cave. Oh, wow. This cave expands and it expands really fast. Let's just follow the cave system. We'll probably find quite a bit of iron. And you know what? Since we're down here, we can go ahead and uh, grab another stack of another stack of copper. Because that's going to come in useful eventually. Especially since we're going to be crafting Pokeballs and catching Pokemon. Oh, well that's a bit of a dead end. Yeah, it doesn't look like that goes anywhere useful. So, block that out. And let's go this way. Let's see if we can find some iron. Because that's the main thing I'm coming down here for. I don't mind all of this uh, copper and uh, coal. But iron is... Definitely the end goal here. Ooh, okay. We got our stack of raw copper. Right, I'm not gonna bother mining more then. Let's get through these spikes and let's keep an eye out for the good ore. Ooh. Now, this is interesting. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know how I want to proceed here. <laughs> Ooh, although... I do see some iron. I'm gonna stop this waterfall because it's just uh, annoying me a little bit. So I'm gonna stop this water. There's some iron here though. Oh. <gasps> Okay, um, how do I do this? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> the water actually turned out to be quite helpful. So now, let's get this uh, little tiny bit of iron. This nice little cluster. And let's block this, and let's ride the water current. 
downwards. Nice. So now I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly dig downwards. That is probably going to be the easiest thing to do. And I'm going to start from lighting it up all the way from the down area. And we're going to slowly go back upwards. Because the more valuable ores are going to be down anyway. And they're going to be easier to get. Oh, and we got another cave with some coal. Okay, I can, I can do with this. I'm happy with this. Let's just light it up. And there's quite a bit of coal here. I'll probably just I'll grab all of it. I'll grab all of it. We've got more than enough time now. We've got our Pokemon trained. They're ready for battle. We're just doing some uh, resource collectioning for the future. I should have probably crafted a few more pickaxes before I got down here. Ah, well, we do have some wood, so I'll just have to make a crafting table. And then there's one more over here that we can get. There we go. Now, is there any iron near me? Actually, you know what? Since we've made it all the way here, let's go ahead and dig down here. We can start exploring this little uh, this little area. Light it up. Oh, that was a weird one. Oh, I don't like that. That noise that you're making, buddy. Ooh, put some lights down so we can see what... That's very dark. Oh, that reminds me. Probably a bit late, but I should have remembered to have done this at the beginning of the video, but I guess better late than never. Someone asked me to turn up the brightness, because apparently the video was uh, quite dark, which, uh, really sorry about that, didn't realize it was gonna be that dark. So they asked me to turn up the brightness, so there you go, turned up the brightness for you. So from now on forward, the caves and... Overall, the caving experience should be a little brighter on the video itself. What? Okay, here we go. That's one down. Ow. Oh, I don't like how many zombies there are around me. And a, a baby zombie creeper. Not, not a fan. Come on. Nice one. These are some really pretty caves. I just wish they had a bit more iron in them. Because I'm gonna be honest, all I'm seeing is copper and coal. Any iron down here? No, doesn't look like it. Right, let's let's go back up then. More coal, a creeper, some copper. No, zero iron. That's a shame. Right, let's... Where did that... Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Just, uh... Yep. yep. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's go up this way. See if there's any surface iron up here. It's a little cave system. Let's have a peek in it. Just a bit of coal so far. And it's getting pretty narrow. It's getting a little claustrophobic, so I'm not going to follow it. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere cool. So let's just continue searching for surface iron in this area. Who knows? Maybe we'll find some. Ooh, here we go. Let's just light this up. Watch this be like only one block. <laughs> yep. Yeah, literally just one block. Sick. There's some over here. Let's grab this one. Two more. Wow, ten iron. We're um, we're making amazing progress, guys. <laughs> Let's backtrack. Let's see if we can find anything better. I'm just gonna grab a bit more coal from this area because I can see that we're gonna need torches soon, and we're under a stack of coal that we've gathered so far. So might as well get a stack of coal and then use the rest on torches. And there we are. Now let's see. Let's go in the opposite direction. Let's go down here. Let's see if we find anything better over this way. I'm gonna stop these water puddles because I'm gonna be oh out. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think they're that helpful. I'm gonna stop this one as well, like so. Ow. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue making a path downwards. It's a bit more coal. Ah, there we go, a bit more iron. Okay, that's what we're looking for. This is good, this is good. Let's get it. Oh, and it's a big chunk as well. Nice. See, now this is what I'm happy with. This is what I'm talking about. And there should be another little bit here. I'm guessing this is just one block. Yep, that's all right. We're making a bit more progress now. Let's continue going. Let's see if we find any more. Oh, yeah, I do see quite a bit more. There's some there. A bit more there. I can't say I see any in the ceiling. So I'm going to say that there isn't any in the ceiling. So let's just start off by taking the one that we can see down here. And we'll work away from there. And then there's that little bit more over here. Oh, wow. No, that's a that's a lava river right here. That's a big one. There's more iron there. I'm going to go up this river of lava. I'm going to see if I can get to the source. And once I'm at the source, I'm going to try and block it off. And then that should clear a massive way down for us. Wow, look at that. All, all that lava from this little... 
Oh no, Geodude, no! It's dead. It's gone. Oh, he was so young. Bro didn't deserve to pass away just yet. Uh, rip Geodude. You'll be missed. Everyone, RIP Geodude to, in the comments below. But as I was saying, look at all that lava. All of that lava from this little tiny source. Madness. Is there any iron up here? There's no iron. No iron at all. I don't know what kind of caving system I'm going through, but damn. I'd expect a bit, at least a bit of iron. But no, there's absolutely none. Let's have a look around. No, let's let's have a peek. Let's have a, a bit of a gander. Let's see if we can find some around here. Which, no, it doesn't <laughs> It doesn't look like we will. <laughs> Just a bunch more copper. What about down here? I can see there is a, some sort of a crevice. Hmm. No, nothing. Of course, there's nothing. I never would have thought I'd be struggling this much to... To get some iron. Like, damn, bro. Who took it all? Where's it gone? Why? Ow. Well, at least the lava is slowly receding. A little bit by the, by the time. Oh, iron. Actually, actual iron. It's real. It exists. <laughs> now I just need to figure out a way to get to it. Oh, the joy. The joy of Minecraft. Well, the lava is slowly receding, so it'll be completely gone soon. <laughs> just like my hair and my hairline. <laughs> I can remember when I, I, can, I can pinpoint exactly where my hairline used to be. About like when i was 18 and i see it now i'm like holy shit brother where are you running where are you going why right back onto the iron let's build up the pillar let's get it it's probably gonna be yeah it's only two blocks but that's fine hopefully that lava being gone will reveal a few more blocks of iron to us as we explore but i suppose only time will tell huh oh that's a spider hello buddy Okay, let's continue. Let's see if we can get this little bit of iron. Oh, and there's a bit more there. Okay, so it's just up here. And once again, it's just a single block. Damn, doesn't really like me, does it, this iron thing? Oh, no, wait, there's more. There's more, just on the other side. Oh, let's get let's get to it. A little bit more iron. Ooh, that was a nice vein. That was a really nice vein. So at least we got like half a stack now. Let's just get this little one here as well. Just one block, but yeah, that's all right. Let's block off this lava pool like that. Is that going to do it? Yeah, that does it. That's done it. Let's continue going down here, seeing where it goes. Ooh, there's a nice chunk of it there. Oh, I want that. And this thing goes quite deep, isn't it? This thing really do be going quite deep. Oh my god. Okay. Going all the way, all the way into the dark depths of god knows where. Well, my last little goal in this cave is going to be that iron there. I want to get that little bunch. Hopefully my pickaxe lasts, but I have a I have a sus I have a sussy feeling that I'm going to get one of those blocks and as soon as I do my pickaxe is just going to go doink and it's going to break. Watch, I'm calling it now. That's what's going to happen. 100%. I just need to get there now. So let's go ahead and build a quick bridge over here. It's got a bit more cobble. Oh damn. I will definitely come back to this cave at some point and explore it properly because this is a uh, this is a very very good looking cave. Now let's see how many we can get. Literally, what did I say? <laughs> Okay, let's craft a new one because there's a lot of iron here and I kind of I really want to get it. Let's put down a torch and let's get this iron. Okay, right. I think that's going to be good. I think we're getting out of here now. I don't care for advancing any farther into this cave for now. Let's get out of here. Right now, the fun part of caving is finding the exit which you came in from. Although, you know what? Let me just quickly grab this coal as well. Since I'm walking right past it, I might as well. Huh? Now, if I go up this stream, it's going to be completely pointless. Ah, hold on. I think it's this way that I can get out from. Ooh, there's a bit more coal here. I'm going to grab this as well. Oh, and that lets some water out. Uh, where's my cobblestone? Quick, block it off. Oh, look at that, iron. Oh, more iron. Sick, bro. Let's grab it. And there's more water in this area. God, we're going to absolutely flood these caves this way. I think that's all of it. Let's just finish off getting this coal. Okay, so kind of almost a stack of iron, so not too bad. So let's go ahead and get back up to the surface. Ah, here we are. Morning, fresh air, and home. Oh, and it is literally the beginning of day 10. Quick, we have to set ourselves up for the battle. Let's just get a bucket. Let's get some lava. Throw that in there. Get the iron smelting. We can do the copper next. Let's put away the coal. Then we have some extra cobblestone, which we don't need at the moment. But what we will need at some point is you extra sticks. But 
No, I think we're completely ready. Right, let's approach the arena, like so. And uh, yeah, we've made it through another 10 days. We're on day 20, and it is time to begin the next <laughs> gym leader battle. And so our second Cobblemon gym battle begins. The gym leader sends out a Dwebble, while I decide to send out Kozzle. My thought was that I'll try to do as much damage using Kozzle before using Nutmeg to breeze through the rest of the fight. But having the gym leader start off with Bug Rock type like Dwebble was a stroke of luck for us. Kozzle shows off its speed and starts the battle off with a Flame Wheel, which did decent damage to Dwebble. However, Dwebble retaliates by using Smackdown, which took Kozzle down to 19 hit points. Knowing I had speed on my side, I had Kozzle use another flame wheel to do as much damage before he got knocked out. We're one Pokemon down, and so it's time for Nutmeg. Dwebble had an upper hand with its speed and got us with a sand attack, lowering our accuracy. But one Razor Leaf from Nutmeg knocked it out thanks to all the damage buildup Kozzle pulled off. The gym leader's second Pokemon was a Rock and Roller. I thought this was going to be an easy win. However, the sand attack from the previous turn would come to haunt us, as her attack completely missed. And on top of that, Rock and Roller used Mud Slap which did virtually no damage. However, it drove Nutmeg's accuracy even lower. I was starting to panic now as my next Razor Leaf once again missed, while Rog and Roller's Smackdown had a direct hit. Nutmeg was struggling with seeing anything and so her next attack completely missed again. And to rub salt in her injury, the gym leader had Rog and Roller use yet another Mud Slap, lowering our accuracy further. However, here is where I thought our luck was beginning to turn. Against all odds, we managed to land a Razor Leaf on Rog and Roller. However, Rock and Roller Sturdy saved it from a one-hit KO. Continuing with her short lucky streak, Nutmeg managed to land an Absorb on Rock and Roller, knocking it out for good. The gym leader sent out his last Pokemon, a Graveler. I thought we were in a very good position here. However, our luck would turn back to rotten as Nutmeg's Razor Leaf would go to completely miss, resulting in us taking a rollout attack head-on. Rollout is a move that locks the user's other moves for a few turns. However, it does more damage every single turn as a result. Panicking over this, I try to get Nutmeg to hit one single Razor Leaf to take the Graveler down, but to no avail. We were once again forced to take a rollout attack head-on. This was now the last turn, and I had Nutmeg use Razor Leaf, hoping that by any small sliver of luck, we'd get a hit on the Graveler and win the battle. But nope, we missed, and the final rollout took us down. We've lost the gym battle. I wasn't giving up just yet, though. None of our Pokemon were above level 25, and instant rematches are allowed. So, after a quick Pokemon heal, we started with the second battle. It began much like the first one, Kozzel versus Dwebble. However, instead of attacking, I decided to have Kozzel use How to quickly power up. Dwebble decided to go straight for the offensive with Smackdown, no doubt trying to get rid of Kozzle as fast as possible. Using Flame Wheel on the next turn, we dealt a bit of damage to Dwebble, but using Smackdown, it took us down for good. It was once again time for Nutmeg to fight, and as soon as he hit the stage, the Dwebble hit us with a Sand Attack, causing our Razor Leaf to miss. The gym leader was trying to recreate the strategy from the last match, and I had to do whatever I could to not let that happen. Thankfully, even though we took another Sand Attack straight to the face, we managed to hit Dwebble with a Razor Leaf, taking it down for good. Two Pokemon remaining, and the gym leader decided to spin it up a bit and use Graveler next. Knowing that my accuracy is low from the Sand Attacks, I decided to prioritize what Nutmeg is naturally really good at, defense. I had Nutmeg use Withdraw to raise its defense, while the gym leader's Graveler tried to take her health bar down using Rock Throw, which didn't do much damage. I saw an opportunity here to max out my defense, so I used another Withdraw, empowering our shell further. Graveler tried to attack us with a Bulldoze attack, however it was significantly less effective than its previous attempt at damage. The defense strategy was working. Graveler overtook us with speed thanks to the Bulldoze attack, and tried using Smackdown, however it had little to no effect on Nutmeg, who was raised raising his defenses even further. On turn 8, Graveler managed to get a critical hit smackdown on us, which made me panic a little. We raised our defense one last time this turn. It was now time to go full offensive. We took another smackdown attack, taking down a tiny bit of our health bar, and it turns out the sand attacks from the Dwebble were still lingering on Nutmeg, as he missed his Razor Leaf attack. The following turn was pretty much a repeat, and I was beginning to sweat as Nutmeg is slowly getting closer and closer to being knocked out. But then, we finally got lucky. We finally hit Graveler with a Razor Leaf attack, and it took it down in one hit. The gym leader had one Pokemon left, Rog and Roller. 
Nutmeg was in a horrible state, possibly one hit away from death. At first, I didn't know what to do, but then I had a moment of genius. Rug and Roller is a not too of a strong physical attacker. We've raised Nutmeg's defenses to a very high level. What if I just tried to heal Nutmeg faster than Rug and Roller could deal damage to it? Well, it worked. I had nothing to lose, I was backed into a corner, and in that corner I came up with a winning strategy. Every single turn I fed Nutmeg an Oran Berry, which I I had in my backpack to raise his health up little by little, and Rogan Roller wasn't able to bring those health points back down fast enough. The gym leader saw this and decided to make Rogan Roller as tanky as possible in retaliation by using iron defense, which definitely made a difference as when Nutmeg finally managed to get a solid hit on the opposing Pokemon, a super effective Razor Leaf, Rogan Roller's health went down by just above a third. This has now become a battle of durability, to see which defense-based Pokemon will give out first. Having Nutmeg use Razor Leaf in hopes of defeating the Rogan Roller, I found that he is still suffering from the after-effects of those sand attacks from Dwebble, as we completely missed. And with Rogan Roller hitting us with a smackdown, we were back on red health. Using my newfound defense and berry strategy, I tried to get Nutmeg back as much health points as possible throughout the next few turns. The gym leader saw this and had Rogan Roller use a combination of iron defense to raise its own durability, as well as mud slap to lower Nutmeg's accuracy. This has truly become a battle of willpower to see which trainer and Pokemon will give out first. When possible, I tried to have Nutmeg attack, but after four raises leaves in a row, every single one of them missed. So for now, it's back on the berry diet for you. Turn 30. Nutmeg managed to regain back half of its HP. It was time to once again try going on the offensive. Two of our Razor Leaves missed, but the third got it, hitting Rug and Roll a full force and taking its health down to 30%. One hit is all I need now. One single hit and I will win the battle. And after missing the next two Razor Leaves, it turns out that the third time is truly the charm. As we got a solid Razor Leaf hit on Rog and Roller, successfully knocking it out, completing our Redemption and Revenge arc, and winning the gym battle for good. And of course, after such a tough battle, we were rightfully awarded the Rock Badge. Damn, what a gym battle, I genuinely feel like it fried my brain a little. Had to go full power for that one. So, I hope you enjoyed the fight, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you'd like to see more, then go ahead and subscribe. And also, feel free to leave a comment of your favorite moment from today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Check me out. Oh! <laughs>